Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2003 Freightliner school bus with a C7 CAT engine. The complaint on this bus is that it is hard to start sometimes. So it doesn't happen every time, but it has an intermittent hard start. And the driver also reported that the temperature gauge on the dash reads uh, hot when the hard start concern is present so when it's difficult to start he notices that the uh, temperature gauge reads all the way up to the red mark so it reads all the way up to 260 degree Fahrenheit I believe so the first thing we're gonna do let's go inside the bus confirm the complaint and then we'll see what directions we're gonna go from there all right so I'm inside the bus right now and the bus has been sitting here uh, it's not hot I'm gonna first start it so we're gonna focus on this gauge here that says water the driver said that when it is difficult to start when that hot start concern occurs the gauge reads all the way up to this red mark here so the gauge reads all the way up to 260 degree Fahrenheit and as you can see right now with the bus being off it should be sitting at 100 or basically zero but right now we're reading about 150. So which already tells us that this gauge is inaccurate. But let's confirm it by starting the bus. And as you can see, I just turned the key on right there. The gauge just shot up. Just watch. Key on right there. So now let's start the bus. Well, luckily it started, but watch this. So right there, the temperature gauge is reading 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Luckily it started pretty easily, but the driver said sometimes it's difficult to start once a temperature gauge is up at uh, 260 degrees Fahrenheit. So now what do we do? Well, let's turn this off and talk about this a little bit. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. So right off the bat, the thing I'm thinking about right now is we either have a engine temperature sensor fault or the wiring or the dash, the cluster here, the, um, the gauge on the cluster is defective because I've seen this cluster go bad and report an inaccurate reading. So what we're gonna do is, I think this is gonna be a quick one. Let's go under the hood and unplug the uh, engine coolant temperature sensor. Once we unplug the sensors, this gauge should read zero. I mean, it should be uh, reading here on the 100 degree Fahrenheit, which is basically uh, zero. So it should be reading down here with the sensors unplugged. And as you can see right here, uh, right now with the engine off, and the engine is actually uh, cold, all right, so I also have a thermometer here that we can use. Let's use a thermometer first before we unplug the sensors. Maybe the sensors are reporting the correct uh, temperature of the engine. Maybe our engine is overheating, right? So let's start the engine and then take the temperature of the engine block to see if it's going to correspond to what the gauge is showing. So right now, our gauge just shot up to 260. So we have our bus running right now. So let's go under the bus and take the temperature of the engine block with this thermometer. All right, so I'm sorry for the noise. Uh, it's gonna be loud here. We're gonna take the temperature of the engine block with this thermometer. All right, so with our engine running, we are reading about 106 degrees Fahrenheit. But the gauge on the dash is showing us 260 degrees Fahrenheit. So the gauge is inaccurate. The engine coolant temperature sensor is not showing the right temperature of the engine. So we can also take the temperature of the radiator right there. And as you can see, it seems a little bit cooler here. And we can take another reading somewhere down there. I don't know if you guys can see the red dart over there. So that takes the temperature of so that takes the temperature of the engine. And right there, we are reading 
frequency between the engine temperature and the temperature gauge on the dash. Alright, so I'm back inside the bus and here is the actual engine temperature, 111.5 degree Fahrenheit, while our engine temperature sensor here, our engine temperature gauge is showing 260. So our engine is not overheating, the issue is probably the sensor, like I said, the wiring or the cluster or the uh, module here itself. So now the next step is going to be going under the hood again to disconnect the uh, engine coolant temperature sensor. So I'm going to disconnect it with the sensor disconnected. So these engine coolant temperature sensors are thermistors. When a thermistor is disconnected, we have high uh, signal, a high voltage, which would show a cold reading on the cluster. So I'm going to disconnect that with the sensor disconnected we should our gauge should come down to 100 or near zero. So let's go under the hood and disconnect the sensors. So here are our engine coolant temperature sensors so I'm going to disconnect both of them. All right so I got the uh, ECT is disconnected, so now let's go back inside the bus and check our engine temperature on the dash. Alright, so we're back here inside the bus, and as you can see, with the key on and the sensors disconnected, our gauge is reading a zero right now. So as you can see, our gauge is below that 100 mark. Alright, and this is with the sensors disconnected. So, what do you guys think the issue is? I mean, this is pretty simple, right? The engine temperature sensors, our ECTs, are defective. And I always like replacing both of them. I'm gonna replace both of them. Or you could also have a sticking thermostat causing this, but a sticking thermostat would not cause a high, uh, a high temperature reading on the dash while engine is completely cold because I had to let this bus sit overnight and take these measurements the next day. So this confirms to me that the issue is just the engine coolant temperature uh, not reporting properly. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these engine temperature sensors. I'll replace both of them because I believe one reports to the uh, engine control module and then the other one reports to the module here on the cluster. So both of them will get replaced. And again, this is intermittent. I believe what's going on is the uh, resistance on the sensor is changing intermittently. So when the, when the resistance is fine, it shows a good reading. And when it just decides to like go out of whack, and then we have a, a inaccurate reading. And it's been freaking out the driver because he thought the engine was overheating while it wasn't. So I'm glad I was able to show you guys. This is gonna be pretty easy. These uh, temperature sensors are really easy to replace. I'm gonna replace them and then I'll bring you guys back up. All right guys, so I'm back here in the engine compartment and I wanna show you the engine coolant temperature sensors that are replaced. So like I said earlier, I don't know if I did mention this, so as you can see, one engine temperature sensor has got two wires and then the other one has got one wire. So this one is for the gauge, this one with the one wire, and then the one with two wires is for the engine computer. So the one that was faulty was this one. The other one was going faulty too because the computer was looking at the input from this sensor and at times this engine was being hard to start. So this is the one that was causing the gauge to kind of go wacky on the dash. But I just decided to replace both of them because they're mostly replaced as a pair. I mean, you don't have to, but I just preferred to replace both of them. So now that I got the uh, sensors replaced and I topped off the cooling system, so now let's go back inside the bus and do our last checks. So let's go in the bus and look at the gauge and see what happens. All right, so I am inside the bus right now and we're gonna focus on this gauge right here. So this here is the engine temperature gauge. And remember before, 
this one was reading all the way up to 260 degrees Fahrenheit and right now with the key off it's reading about it's reading slightly over a hundred so now let's start the bus so the gauge just went up slightly which tells me that our temperature sensors are working actually if I turn the key off you'll see the gauge go you see the gauge move slowly right there I mean I don't know if the camera is gonna pick that up but it's definitely moving all right so as you guys can see our temperature gauge is working it's a lot better than before but now with these new sensors I'm sure our issue is fixed uh, we just had defective engine coolant temperature sensors okay so I'm gonna let it idle and reach operating temperature I'm probably gonna take it for a spin and then I will bring you guys back up so we can wrap up this video but this looks really good I feel comfortable about this so as you can see our temperature gauge is rising which is good but before I go on a test drive we're gonna use this thermometer and go under the hood and take the engine temperature so we can compare it to the temperature that the gauge is indicating here on the dash so let's go under the hood and take a temperature measurement with our thermometer all right so i'm under the hood right now let's measure the engine temperature so right here we are reading about 144.8 degree Fahrenheit so I took the measurement off of the cylinder head over there so this is how hot our engine is so 144 degree Fahrenheit so now let's go back inside the bus and see what the temperature gauge is showing So here is what the temperature gauge is showing on the dash so here is the 100 degree Fahrenheit mark and the mark next to it is 120 and right there so we're reading about 150 give or take 140 or 150 so our temperature gauge is showing an accurate reading so this is fixed uh, I don't see the need of taking you guys on a test drive and then showing you this again I feel comfortable with the readings I'm getting uh, the issue was just the defective temperature sensors so our temperature sensors were bad I'm gonna end it over here let me turn off the engine first so that's all guys uh, I'm gonna end it over here so hard start and temperature gauge was intermittently reading high so the problem was bad engine coolant temperature sensors and the way I knew it was I went under the hood took the temperature because it was reading 260 I used this thermometer and went under the hood took a temperature of the engine itself and the engine was actually a lot cooler than what the gauge was showing and when I disconnected the sensors the temperature gauge came down so that told me that our temperature sensors were bad hope you like this video I'm gonna end this over here uh, these are pretty uh, easy tests that you can do by yourself if you have a temperature gauge that's reading 260 uh, the quickest thing you can do is just go under the hood disconnect the sensor with the sensor disconnected on most thermistors they should read zero degree Fahrenheit or I mean a very very cold reading so once you disconnect it your temperature gauge should drop and if it does then you would know that your sensor is defective so thanks for watching if you have any comments questions criticism leave them in the comment box if this is your first time subscribe to my youtube channel K Diagnostics and while you're down there why don't you do your part okay ring the bell so you can get notified 
every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.